with the first live attack. Gaku is in, so best of luck to, uh, to everyone who vote. We are live with the Quivokers versus HD family. Gaku is in with the Inferno Dragons and the Dragon uh, Riders here. Coming in first with that E Dragon and the 12 o'clock, just setting up the funnel. And as you can see, getting some nice chain from that E Dragon. Hi, Blue Vein, how are you doing? What is your clan names? My clan names now are a Jinx Academy. Yeah, but in the past, we were a Susie Knights. All right, same time sending the Blim here. Blim already over the town hall that E-Dragon is still alive. Now we're pushing the Dragon Riders and Inferno Dragon towards the uh, scatter shot. Here we go. He has the king on the bottom side where we are finding the Tesla fan. We have Royal Champion behind the king. Queen right now behind the wall. So she cannot really do much here as until she's gonna break the wall. I wish she, she will go around, you know, that would be smart. Alright, we still have a bunch of defenses up, not many dragons. I see only four infernal dragons. He's getting low on the dragons, but he still have all four heroes. Alright, I see on that scatter. Last infernal dragon went down. We got 72% with the dragons. Now, let's see how much more we can get with the heroes. Can they finish and clear the rest of the, rest of the base here? Queen with the ability, Royal Champion with the shield, boom, boom, boom. We got the expo, but the Inferno is still up. That means it's gonna be goodbye to Warden, I think, pretty soon. Maybe not. Queen again, that's the problem. The Queen is uh, need to break so many walls. Warden has no health, but he's on the air, so that guy is not gonna hurt him. But that air defense, uh, sorry, air defense, Archer Tower can. Now, one minute left, Queen with the ability, King should be able to clear the buildings outside of the base, Queen with the ability gonna get his last two defenses buildings. Not the, the beautiful uh, triple, you know, but it is three star for a Gaku. This one is big match, like Queen Walkers versus HD family. Wow, it's a really good match. So nice job from Gaku, first triple is in. Uh, where is the Badzinger? I haven't seen them for uh, quite long. Uh, Badzinger lost. In the previous round, they were facing KOG. It was big, big war. But uh, KOG come back after one star. So KOG knock out uh, Badzinger from uh, round one, second day. So yeah, we lost Badzinger today. Which defense is building is the most un annoying according to you? The Town Hall. With that poison? is. It's savage, you know, it's really bad. So yeah, I would go with the town hall. GG to Kaku, yeah. Hi Sleepy, ahoy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did I close the prediction? I think I did. It wasn't much time, I apologize. So, I hope so some of you uh, went in with the channel points. A town hall is awful, especially for the casual players, yeah. What about you? Which is the most annoying defense is building for you? And maybe some people gonna say Eagle, Scattershot or Inferno, you know? In the past, the Infernos were uh, very scary when you couldn't heal. Do you remember that time when you couldn't heal? When the troops were under like the other beans, that was crazy. All right, first hit from HD family there on Klaus. All right, so we have some uh, mix here, uh, bringing seven dragons, two infernal dragons, and four dragon riders. Uh, Marco, I'm from Slovakia. Town hall and the scatter shot, tornado trap. That's good. Yeah, tornado trap definitely can ruin your hit. Agree there, guys. Agree. All right. So we are now sending all the dragons. Interesting. So we are having the king and the queen on the top side. We need to step in and grab this uh, air defense. 
Blimp already over the town hall. Nice. So town hall is gone, but also pushing these dragons back inside in the base where we have boot infernos. We are hitting the tornado trap front of the single inferno. Decide to go with the rage. They're freezing this multi inferno. This is still looking pretty strong. One minute, 50 seconds left. Finn with the ability and the Royal Champion with the shield. Going with the Royal Champion from that left side, using the freeze over the scatter. If you're not gonna find any like crazy traps like ground skellies or some giant bombs, or as I said, there's a set of ground skellies that's gonna slow down RC. We are freezing. Mm, I don't know, can we do it? RC uh, getting the last skeleton. Here we go. She's on the scatter. Scatter going down. This uh, Dragon Rider is not gonna survive, but we have the Queen with the ability here. One minute. Mortals were annoying when we didn't have super wall breakers. When you have to like uh, use the regular wall breakers, you know? I saw so many fail attacks because the mortal hit uh, your wall breakers and you fail, you know? So yeah. In the past I would say the mortals were, were annoying, but now I don't see them as like very dangerous. Alright, so we are starting the wooden wall here. So uh, Stadra coming with the Stadra smash here. Using that wooden walk from the 6 o'clock, he has to use the rage there because he find a Tesla farm. Alright, sending just Archer to help uh, with the ground skellies. So what he's gonna try to do is to grab the air defense and the scatter shot. Another Tesla, another ground skellies. Ugh. This, oh my god, this could be town fail. That wooden walk taking time, especially because we're finding these uh, traps. Hi Jimmy, hello. I always hated when you couldn't heal under the inferno. That was something. That was huge challenge. Do you remember the Tamho tens? Like if someone hit a 10 with 10 triple, that was like wood, you know? In the past, yeah. Getting 10 with 10 triple, that was uh, like, you were like, wow, you know? You were a hero. Alright, let's look at the, this hit. So, King and a few uh, witches just funneling, and now we're gonna get all P.E.K.K.A.s inside. And the Super Wizard uh, behind with the Log Launcher. It feels like that, uh... Oh no, that was walls, okay. There is the Warden ability and the range. We should be able to open all these walls, especially front of the town hall. When we open this wall, we can reach both infernos. We're opening the wall for the king at the 12 o'clock, so he can reach uh, the scatter shot. And question is, is he gonna send the real champion there? No, sending RC from the bottom side, okay. Don't like this inferno here. 
This inferno is kind of annoying, isn't it? Because healers are in the range. With the, now with the jump spell, yeah, can we, we can reach it. While the RC is clearing the bottom side. Time, 53 seconds left. Because we spent some time on that wooden wall, this is gonna be definitely close with the time here. He has that one party wizard. So let's hope we can grab this cannon and keep this party wizard alive. And the inferno is still up. Nothing go, uh, going for it. 35 seconds left. Uh oh, guys. Uh oh, here. I am worried. 30 seconds, 85%. RC with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Wasn't able to grab the inferno, but we need only a few more seconds. Nice job with that wizard. That, uh, is, that wizard is a big part of this hit, you know? Especially with the cleanup. And actually, it's not that close. Maybe just Susie was stressing. We still have like, what, 13 seconds left? GG! I thought that he gonna be like too too close, but no, he has the 13th uh, second spare there. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, Sally's at work. Giant bombs doing uh, twice damage to hogs were super annoying too. Yeah. I really want to see uh, the uh, hogs back, you know. The nether, like, nether level of the hogs would be so amazing. Eagle doing like three times damage to Golem back in the day was annoying. There was... Yeah, the game changed so much. So, so much. You guys thought that it's gonna be a defense, right? He got it! Try to jinx it, saying Tien. It was super power Stadra attack. I was worried about the time and wasn't that close. 13 seconds left. Yeah, that wizard got more value than PvP. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, that wizard got the value. I agree there. That was a very good choice to keep that wizard alive. Because it clears so many trash buildings around. Alright, Jinmu is in. So this is second attack from HD Family. Right now we have Queen Walkers with the two triples. HD Family with the first triple in, doing their second attack. Coming in with the Queen Charge Dragon Riders, deploying the uh, um, healers on the Queen. Queen is still low health. She's gonna take some damage from, from that scatter. Let's hope she will be not forced to use the Queen ability, especially... Oh my god, she missed miss the freeze. Missed the freeze with the King there. So we still got the king down, but I thought that he's gonna try to freeze the enemy king and uh, the scatter. But he just freezed the scatter shot. Anyway, we got both enemy heroes down. We are pushing the king on the top side where we have the eagle and the royal champion trying to clear this compartment. Now sending the log launcher. Queen was forced to use the ability. We are using the poison on the CC. There's actually many, many archers and some uh, witches. That log launcher is keep hitting the town hall. That's good. Oh my god, that value of the heroes. Are you seeing that, these guys? But the value of the heroes is insane. The RC going for the inferno. This is crazy. Invisibility spell on RC, so she gonna get it. His queen gonna be distracted by some bunch of air, uh, skellies. Dragons from the top side. We find the Tesla farm around the inferno. One minute, 30 seconds. This one, this attack is very strong one. Now, Queen, not go I don't know if we're gonna, we're gonna try to keep the Queen alive. Okay, because we have plenty of spells on it. He still has so many frees, so we can keep freezing that uh, single inferno to make sure the Queen is gonna survive. And not just sing, uh, freezing the single Inferno, but also that Sweeper. That means the Dragon Riders don't have to fight the Sweeper at all. He has three seconds left. Look at the value of the, the last free spell. Very nice attack. This one was smash. GG there. No DK Gaming, they're playing uh, today. They won against the Dompina Empire. The last match which is gonna be streamed today is gonna be ATN. Can you tell me how to join eSport? Are you asking as player or, uh, or how to join the eSport as uh, with your team? Help me there, Jay. Yeah, that's... That... Uh, I am so, like, in the shock how much she got with the heroes. That was a very nice hit. He 
also freeze the king? Did he? My bad. I thought that the uh, king wasn't uh, freeze. Uh, because uh, giving big shout out to Sandra, hello from uh, Nepal. Uh, Susie has a hello. Would love to see E Dragon attack from HD Feminine, maybe. We're gonna see. Our powering attack, yeah. Very strong hit. Yeah, you can see also attack time here. So right now, HT family with the 2 minutes 4 seconds. Twiwok has 2 minutes 31 seconds. So HT family has, uh, is faster with the attacks. Especially with the second hit. Yaku is best screen charger. Sandra best smasher. Stars Lalo God. Plus most creative in the world. Uh, yes, but uh, if you were watching any uh, series from the Duo Master series, like Nick, what he was showing, you know, stars, even like a star, like there are so many players with some very creative attacks, so. Klaus Sweet uh, Heroes is always insane. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Stars is in. Ah, TD Gaming, thank you. Your hair is so beautiful, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Unicorn. All right. <clears throat> A stars is in, coming in with the Lalo. It's actually gonna be Sui Lalo. No, Blizzard Lalo. We have five invisibility spells. Alright, so he used the one invisibility spell, especially for this air defense, to making sure the lava going for this air defense. To tank and find the uh, traps for the blim and make it but uh, no we are not behind the wall or oh, rivi on the wrong wall i think so he wanted to go here anyway he's clearing everything around we pull the cc all right so we have two super minions and rocket balloons Alright, poison on them. Now we're gonna look how much we can get uh, with the heroes. Yo yo way, Valley stars are just too OP. There's so so many attackers, guys. You know, maybe just uh, some of them are not streamed that much like uh, Quiwalkers are, you know. But trust me, there are some insane hits which I saw from different teams, you know. Alright, I see on the eagle. We're using the ice golem to support the king and the queen that they are fighting the enemy queen here using the invisibility spell on the royal champion he wants to get that multi inferno i see gonna use the shield boom 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 hit this uh scatter but didn't get it can she get it now oh my god oh no she, i think so she needed one more hit but still nice value here like look at this he still keep pushing with the heroes he has 1 minute, 10 seconds left, so definitely we'll have to start the Lalo pretty soon. We, I think so we are hoping that... Are we gonna Lalo over the town hall? We do. So we have to freeze. There is another freeze spell. Warden needs to go closer to these loons, okay. I think so we, uh, we got every loons under Warden ability. Now they're still protected. This scatter shot will go down very fast. And we have another group of the loons on the another scatter. We find the Tesla farm on this side where we are using the haste spell. 35 seconds. Nothing going for this uh, clan castle here. But we still have many of loons. So we should start clearing these buildings pretty fast. We have the enemy king alive. But look at how many loons we have. 24 seconds. He actually can even swag the queen ability. Using the queen ability, all these loons going for this last uh, building. Uh, quite slowly, but 12 seconds. Gonna be more than enough. Even when we hit some red bomb uh, there. But we got it. We got it. We got it. Right? We got it. 3, 2, we got it. All good. Stars is hitting. Triple for queen walker. So they are three for three yeah thank you regal for answering that uh question thank you oh. 
No, it's not a bye bye to Quivocus. No, no. He recovered. I don't know. He, I think so. He wanted to push that Bream a little bit uh, like behind that order wall, you know? But he's still like the value of the heroes. He got the nice, you know? Anyway, fire is in here for the HD family. We are again alive with another hit here. Coming first with the Bream. Had to freeze, so that Brim is not fighting the sweeper. So sneaky goblins uh, should be fine and should take care of the town hall. You are trying to jinx. I don't trying to jinx anything. Oh. Uh. All right. From which side are we going? All right. Pulling the CC in this corner. Alright, we're gonna pop the lava pretty soon. Just sending some inferno dragon and dragon rider from the six o'clock. I think so. We're going between here, yeah. Because queen and because of that uh, blim, we cut uh, the funnel for the dragons. We're gonna get the air defense. That's always nice when you are doing air attack. Now dragons are pushing for that uh, first scatter shot. So this base has two multis and one single inferno. His king is actually clearing the Tesla farm on the top side. Queen is now kind of useless because she is uh, behind the wall. She should be able to reach the enemy queen and probably grab the wizard tower, but that's it for her. Now the uh, warden with the rest of the dragons are on the bottom side. Now the lava pups coming towards these dragons and the queen where we going with the heal spell and the rage. Arcee coming from 12 o'clock so she's gonna step in and targeting the inferno. Some of the dragons hit the tornado trap. I don't know guys. Enemy Arcee is still alive. But we have Queen and RC in here. We should be clearing this compartment for sure. Two heroes, they need to clear that. But only one Inferno Dragon. Is this gonna be first defense? 48 seconds left. RC with the shield. Inferno going down, but there's only Queen left. It's this defense. Wow. It's not triple all day. It's not. It's the defense. The dragons were struggling. And he lost all these dragons on that bottom side, you know. Nice shot from fire, but first defense. He's gonna get probably 82%, maybe. Yeah, I think so. 82 is gonna be uh, the max what he can get. So nice try. 60% base is gone with Sui, and I use like heroes for 5%. Five pets, five pets same. Same, same. Uh, there is no change of energy of Susie streaming since long time. Oh, that's good. Uh, I don't know. I feel like a little bit tired. That is always my voice. But if you guys don't see any difference, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's no triple, it's defense for the Queen Walker. So after uh, three hits, guys, we have nine stars for the Queen Walker, eight stars for the HD family. Hi, Tommy. Hello. There are a bunch of tournaments that take anyone. Yeah, true. There's so many options of which uh, you can join, you know. We just need to get a team together. All right, guys. Klaus is in. Let's go. Well, he's gonna do Sui. He's gonna do Sui level. So he's just gonna uh, bling bomb this compartment. So Yeti is gonna get a scatter. They should get also air defense. Maybe not. No, the Yeti mines are pushing uh, where are the CC. Oh, they got it. Oh, nice. Air defense went down. Nice job. Okay, now just pulling the lava. To the top side, where is uh, the queen? 
Uh, Unicorn, yes, I do know him. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Makish, no, this is Clash Masters. This is different tournament. Okay. Now, let's see how big value he gonna get with his Sui. 1 minute 50 seconds, we didn't get uh, his uh, heroes in yet. Uh, wait for the hit from HD family. So right now, if they're gonna hit a triple, they're gonna be one star behind. ICU is in. <gasps> We're going with the hoggies. Yay! We have queen charge hogs. That's very risky strategy, but I'm so so happy to see it. Alright, going with the blim blim hitting the uh black air bomb i think so he just used it to a funnel i don't think so this was anything else you say that one star incoming no not one star i'm not jinxing no jinxing yeah go 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 hoggies okay so king and uh, uh, queen charge from the bottom side. King is alone on this compartment. We are opening the wall for the queen here. So she can reach the town hall. Let's hope she's gonna get... Uh... We pull all CC. I think so we did. Wow, king. Pretty strong. He cleared everything there. Alright, town hall is uh, going down. Another rage on the queen. So we're gonna have two heal spells for his uh, hoggies. Push, uh, pulling the CC. There is the poison. I see some uh, witches coming out. Now, 1 minute 25 seconds. Decide to go with the hogs. Just deploying a few hogs from this side. We're finding the Tesla farm. 
and the real champion behind so we're gonna get uh take care of the early tesla farm queen gonna be in the range of the boot scatter so she's right now tanking this boot scatter shot she's gonna be forced to use it a uh, shield pretty soon i think so i would pop the queen to don't miss it now she's like oh, okay i'm going this way and this way and this way you know hawks are clearing the 12 o'clock compartment now we have few hawks on this scatter this scatter shot is actually on the healers we are losing the healers here not many hawks left but we know that when you are doing this uh, hawks on town hall 14 they, they usually die and after just only the heroes finish the base but the question is did the hawks did any of the damage i don't think so Time is also not looking good. 34 seconds. Ars is still with the shield. Two free spells. We are freezing the scatter. We have to freeze that scatter shot one more time. Ars is on the inferno. I don't think so she can get it. Come on, Ars. She got the inferno down, but that scatter shot is surviving. And Warden will go down. A nice try from ICU. So, so close. Actually, only one defense is building is left, you know? It wasn't that far away, but the Hawks, they all die on the top side. Like, look at this with some giant bombs and everything, you know? Like, actually, we have Minion and Electro on it. So, close attack by the... ice golem coming out we got the enemy queen before the queen gonna be locked on the ice golems now he gonna uh, sui the king here using the skeleton spell especially to distract that single inferno and the uh, ground expo i see if the king should clear definitely that side it should be totally fine so he's aiming for very nice value from the heroes All right, Queen even gonna get the enemy RC. One minute, 20 seconds. So kind of clear that bottom side of the base is gone. All right, so first slammer that uh, should go for the Eagle. Maybe going for the Tesla. Yeah, looks like we have Tesla farm and around the Eagle. We are losing the Queen. She, uh, she, didn't survive the fight with the enemy king here. What an ability use. How the Lalo will looks like. That, like the value of the heroes, I like it. But it's still not easy, Lalo. 45 seconds left. Plenty of free spells using the freeze over the scatter. Now we are taking the damage from the inferno. There is the invisibility spell on the loose. 
30 seconds left. Wow, so many lose are low health. Look at the red bombs. Oh, that visit tower is so happy. 22, I think so it's Townfell for Yuta. I think this is Townfell. No, he didn't smash it, guys. 14 seconds. The storage is full. Oh, the storage is not full health. Maybe. 7 seconds. 3 buildings. 4 seconds. Oh, it's gonna be 99 or 98%. Nice try from Yuta. But we were 2% away from the perfect war. Uh, guys, if you are asking for the bracket, I'm gonna show everything after th this war is all done, okay? But let's uh, watch first the live attack. But I'm gonna show you after that all brackets, okay? You missed the star attack? Oh, you can after... Oh, check it. Let's hit 300, 300 likes? Are we close to 300 likes? You guys are awesome. Alright, final attack from HD Family. We know they cannot win, but we still want to see the triple. We are enjoying to see uh, the, all this amazing hit. So Donks is in here coming with the Queen Charge uh, Dragon Rider. And I can tell you that we're gonna see the Quivokers tomorrow in the semi-final. So we're gonna be back with the Quivokers uh, tomorrow. Where they're gonna face uh, champions, I think. I think so they're gonna face champions. Alright, so Queen Charging. Last Headhunter going down. Uh, have a good night, uh, Rohan. You think that he accidentally used the warden? On that Utah hit? Alright, king versus king on the top side. Just now sending the headhunter. Actually, I think so the headhunter just uh, should one time. So really not big value of the headhunter. He has to freeze there because he make, he needs to take the ta uh, eagle down. And king is already low hell and fighting that boulder guy. But eagle is down. Now queen charges keep going on that bottom side while we are pushing the dragons from the corner. Just sending a bunch of loons to cut the funnel, just grab uh, that air defense. That's mean these dragons will go from this inferno to the, to the second one. Alright, looks like we find the Tesla farm around the core. We still have one minute left. Using the rage there. Queen on the wrong wall. I wish she is trying to break this wall where we have the scatter, you know. That's actually would get some value, but now we don't really need her to go for the storages. 52 seconds. Alright, all three infernos are gone. Using the last uh, invisibility spell there, because we have the enemy queen still alive. Queen is using the ability, getting the enemy queen. Ars is still with the shield. 35 seconds left. Ars using the shield. Scatter is still up, but now queen step in. And gonna get the scatter shot. Gonna three star. Nice job. HG family adding the another a triple. So GG to them. But big big congratulations, Queenwalkers for winning 14 to 13 stars. All right. So this is the bracket. We we are live with the round of two, right? So we already streamed Sky Star versus Champions, and I can tell you that was crazy war. Champions go the person winner and moving to the semi final. And they actually hit one star, and after one star, they were able to come back. That was crazy. Now we were streaming Quinwalkers versus HD Family. So tomorrow we're gonna be live. That first war gonna be Quinwalkers versus Champions, and. Now